Hello chess lovers, Zoran here and in today's video I want to share with you an interesting attacking game played by the 13th world chess champion Gary Kasparov. Kasparov's opponent is Armenian chess grandmaster Rafael Vahanian and this game was played back in 1995 in Novgorod. Kasparov opened up with d4 to which Vahanian answered with e6. Uh, waiting move but then after c4 Vahanian hurried to move forward his d pawn and we have Queen's Gambit declined three knights variation. By the way, as you know, currently 2023 FIDE World Cup is taking place. And if you have noticed some fascinating games, let me know, please, in the comment section. We'll cover it for sure. Okay, uh, we have a popular line seen many times. Nothing special going on. Kasparov is then castling queenside. A bold decision by him. And looks like that he is in a very aggressive mood. Then the h pawn is stepping forward. Bishop takes c4. b6. A little bit dubious, you know. Vanyan wants to go for bishop a6. But engines don't approve this. Instead, Stockfish suggests h6 or queen c5 uh, but in our game we have b6 let's see what's the problem with it white knight occupied an aggressive attacking square bishop a6 and then comes the second knight knight c4 trying to get rid of this defender now knight takes f6 is the threat right that's why Vahanyan blocked the, the b1 h7 diagonal anyways knight takes f6 landed Knight e4, the bishop retreat hit, and only then we have an exchange on a6. King b1, an important prophylactic move, this c file is very vulnerable. It was in here that Vanyan made queen b7, which is really bad. The queen on b7 is placed awkwardly. Why not rook a c8? If h5, then queen b5, activating the queen in this way. If here, then f takes g6. Now, if, for example, knight c3, then either queen c4 or queen f5. Yeah, the fight goes on, but instead we have queen b7. h5, rook a c8, but already it's too late for rook a c8. h takes g6, and knight b4. Well, if f takes g6, which is actually better than queen b3, if here, then... Either f3 or uh, bishop g5, and the attack goes on. Uh, but instead we have knight b4, and g takes h7, check. King h8, bishop e5, check. Really strange that Vanyan allowed this g takes h7, f6, and now what to play? Yes, guys, the queen is hanging, but knight takes f6 is winning. You can't touch this queen, knight d5 check will land, then again knight takes f6. If you play queen g7, then knight g4, yeah, you will lose your queen. And this is a destruction, guys, g4. You can't save this position. Three extra pawns, yeah, just no way. We have bishop takes f6 in the game. And after bishop takes f6 check, uh, Vanyan resigned and pity that he resigned because after rook f6 white has a very beautiful move. Even this a, b, a takes b4 is winning. You can't play rook takes c2 because of rook d8 check and with this so many extra pawns and vulnerable black king yeah white can easily win. But uh, instead of a takes b4 Kasparov has something stronger in his arsenal, and that move is queen c3. Really nice move, guys. Again, relying on the back rank weakness. If knight d5, then rook d5. Yeah, this is a destruction, guys. Pity that, once again, Vanyan resigned after bishop f6. Would have liked to see queen c3 appearing on the board. Oops, what a brutal move. Well, this is it, dear chess lovers. Hope that you enjoyed the game. And in the end, as usual, a chess puzzle for you. So here white played knight e5, threatening rook f7 check, followed by checkmate. Black accepted the knight sacrifice. Go on, buddy, take that knight. And rook f7, now the threat is checkmate. And so here is the puzzle. How can black survive? 
Let us know in the comment section, please. It's black to move. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.